just say that there's a bunch of small ones around because it's, it's just not taking it like I need them to so I can set my hook. Okay, there we go. I take that back. So he's not going to be a keeper, but I got him on the hook and he's coming on up. Oh, trying to get away. And it is the target species. So, hog. He is not a keeper, but he's a tog. There he is. Do have a keeper in the bag, by the way, along with two perch. This was a perfect hook set. Hook set. Corner pocket. Zeke is on over here. See if he can keep him on. Zeke with a with a baby. And that's exactly what they feel like when they're keep robbing me of my bait. Oh. Put that one back. See if we can get us another one take home I got a 17 in the box or in the bag now we're just out for sport I guess but having some fun nonetheless on the crabbing and fishing vessel I knew they were small because they just keep popping, popping, popping and not really biting it, so. Got a feeling my bait is now gone. Wasn't hooked very good. These crabs, while live, have been kind of soft. So it's, the hook is just, it's been tough to get in. And then when it does go through, it goes all the way through. So bait's been coming off kind of easy today. I think uh, it's mostly shell, so I'm going to change this out. I'll be back. Yeah. been a really cold fishing day today but I think it's probably 3 34 o'clock right now it's actually the warmest it's been all day uh oh Zeke's on again let's see if he can keep this one <laughs> he uh my little baby kept it on the hook though and and he still has his rig. But what I was saying was, it's, it's this is the warmest it's been all day. I actually, I was able to take my gloves off. <laughs> oh, I just missed it. Goodness. Pretty sure that crab is gone. This is probably the most fun fishing you can have. Oh, gosh, he got me hung. He got me hung. I'm going to see if he comes back out. Let's see if he comes out. Uh, it got me hung up. He hit me, got me hung. I do not like that at all. 
and he's gone. So, I'm going to have to break this one off and tie a new rig again. Zeke's into another one, getting him a little bit of a fight here. It's my perch rod. Uh, it's his perch rod, he says. All right, I'm back. I had to re-rig because, I don't know, something hit me and took it under and wrapped him somewhere. I'm getting taps right now, but hopefully... Uh, goes ahead and sets up because I know these fish are going to shut off pretty soon from what I'm told I, they go to sleep like people when it gets dark so I like one more big one so I can say I got a two take home day on tog but if not I don't know something just tap tapped him rap rap Sure, it's a little one. Seems to be all that's around today. Ain't exactly sure what that is we're seeing right there. Oh, come on, come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, come on. I think they just took him off the hook because I thought it go up, go down, and then go up. There was some weight, and then it, it came up. So I'm gonna go ahead and check my hook again. Oh, now there's a fish on here. That's why. Okay. There's nothing like just lifting up a uh, stinking oyster cracker. I should have known because that's what. I got one of these earlier and that's exactly what he did. He uh, hit it and then just sat on it. So some ugly fish. 609, I know you like them, but I'm gonna put him back. If you wanna come back and get him, he'll be right here. That's a little shout out to 609 fishing. I peep your videos. Bye. That's probably the same dude I had earlier. But then again, you would think his mouth would be sore. I don't even count them as catching fish, but you know, it is what it is. I want to see if I can get keeper. If not, I can probably get on out of here because. I've had an eel soaking, swimming about over here behind me for quite some time and we ain't had no takers on that. And I've had so many re-rigs today on this. Well, you know what? I was gonna tell a story, but this is a new reel. So that's why this braid looks so fresh. Tall tog might be night night at this point. We had a late high tide today, which kind of prohibits you from fishing the back couple hours of it. 
here in the fall. Ah, uh, see, here we go. Something's got me hooked. That I don't know what it is. How that happens. Another rig going. Uh, perhaps it was a fish. Oh. what that could have been but uh it definitely felt like my line broke <laughs> so i think we just pulled a hook on a fish i don't know what that was i didn't feel any line shake so i don't know i'm not confident that it was a fish would have been nice if it was a fish uh-oh, looks like Zeke is on one. Zeke's got something squealing the reel over here. I believe that I lost him right there. Wow, this guy's lost more fish today at the boat. He keeps asking me if I believe that and I'm... Pulling the hook. We're pulling the hook. No, I don't believe it. <laughs> I think he's full of soup. think it was Zeke what what do you think it was that one was a uh we oh, got two hooks I'm like my perch set up that one was a sheep pet yeah they all get off at the boat sound more like a fish tail <laughs> I'm going to turn this camera off because I'm just not banking on any good footage here. So it's kind of like, you know, when you put your fishing rod down, you get a fish. So I said I was going to do it to see if I get a hit. So far, it hasn't worked. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and hit the power button and close this one out. It's a short one. Set that there for a second. And we will just take a peek inside here so you see I'm not fooling with you. I did get a nice fat tog today and three perch. It looks like one's still kicking down there, so that's a good thing. Alright, I'm gonna hit the power button now this time for real. 